the tongue of Miriam kissed the mountain. It was that Miriam that went to the Lord and won him that went to his feet with her in whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister said unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he who thou lovest is sick. The one first that I realized is that he says, when Jesus looked at he said, this sickness is not come to death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified. Come to him. 
Because I believe when I studied this for myself, even it was four days, Lazarus was dead. That means the moment the, the, the messenger went out, Lazarus was already dead. His sickness was on the death. Lazarus was not just sick, he was dying. Mm -hmm. He was dying, church. He was dying. And there are many situations in our lives that is dying. And we don't know many times what to do in this certain situation that we are in. And we see that Jesus begins to move closer to Nazareth and closer and closer until when he says one thing that really shocks me. He says his sickness is not unto death, but that the glory of the Son of God will be glorified. You see, each and every one of us who has been born with the Spirit of God, there is a glory inside of you, a Son of God in the inside. And for that Son of God to come alive, Lazarus must die. Hallelujah. 
I'll cry. And not just sins. I was talking to God. I said, Lord, if it was just your my sins that are putting aside, then that does not make him a complete father. It does not make him a complete God. Because everyone Jesus healed, he says, be healed and sin no more. So God, there must be some healing that needs to be done in my mind. Because really and truly, if I want to stop drinking, if I want to stop fornicating, I must be changed in the renewing of my life. that you're going through is what God is allowing and using to bring out what's on the inside of your character. Oh God, I wonder, because you see, it says, all things work together for good, my God, to tell that love God and are called to his purpose, to tell that he foreknow, he also predestinated, hallelujah, touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you are being predestinated to become in the image of his son. But before you can become a hear my God, you have got to go through the fire, you have got to go through the pain, through the suffering. Because when you go through it, you will have the victory at the end. It is in my mind, my mind, my mind. You see, God wants you to let it go in your mind. Because really, it's in the mind of the Lord, the soul of God. Uh, but I wonder, God, why do you allow so many things to happen to good people? Huh? Uh, when you have heard many men was being molested by other men. Huh? And you wonder why, and some of them say, why me, Lord? Huh? Because if it was not me, you would not allow me to walk down a road that I would regret for my life. Because huh? I'm feeling sick in myself every time I see some things in my mind. Huh? Uh, but God said it's working out for your good. You see, God was talking to a man in his head, but he didn't listen when God was saying, don't do this and don't do that. Because the conscience always speaks to you. They ignore the conscience and they do what they did. It's not your fault that he touched you. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. But you blame yourself. You blame yourself. Feeling sorry and feeling negative in your mind. But God was wanting to let it go. That you can walk in the newness of life. For uh, you, you. you to walk in the new life, uh, you must let go of the old life. Uh, or can I put the wine in the bottle? Or can I put the wine in old bottles? Uh, and you must first get rid of the old bottles. Uh, that I can put some fresh oil uh, into your mind. Uh, or can I put the garments of old garments? Uh, you must first remove it from your mind. your fault that it happened, but God will use it and allow it to break you. Uh, haven't you ever been around people that have been abused? Uh, anyone that has been abused has been abused physically, emotionally, and psychologically. Uh, they break down on all sides, on every side. Uh, that's why everything intimidates them. They feel low self-esteem many times. Uh, but God wants you to come out from that low self-esteem in your mind and tell the devil I'm coming back with more power. God wants to be a future of peace. I am a shadow. You can do what you want to do, but I got to touch the hands of the Lord God. A lot of people come in the church sick. You see, the sickness in the mind was physical sickness. But the sickness in the know the error is not just physical, it's also your mental. All over your shadow. A lot of problems is in your mind. A lot of sickness is in your mind. The addiction is in your mind. You can throw the coke at your shadow. You can throw the marijuana. You can throw all what you want to throw. You run right back to it if you don't change your mind. Oh yeah. And that you get delivered in 
is the one in the tomb. But when he said Lazarus, Lazarus come forth. This is the new Lazarus. That's why he said his sickness is not unto death, but that the glory of the Son it might be revealed before the real Christ in you can be uncovered. Then the old you have got to lay in the tomb. I am a shire. Some of you have been in your tomb for four days, for four weeks, for four months, for four years. All your life, you're feeling like you're in a tomb. But God is getting ready to breathe on you.
Huh? Any time a certain situation aroused your life, you run to the medication that you have used. Yes. That's why when you see go back to the spirit, when you see go back to the book of the, the wrong person, it's because he's using this to escape reality and the pain that is feeling on the inside. Because people need to be healed and delivered. That's why Jesus says, your sins, your sins has been forgiven. Peter of healed. He always is healed and sin. Many times he does bring sin, but you don't ask for healing. Because then when you are healed, you want to go back to the same thing. Oh, 